Swinging the club straight back, classic golf swing advice. But did you know that swinging the club straight back can absolutely destroy your swing? Today you're going to see how this common piece of golf swing advice is doing more harm than good for your golf game. And how swinging the club in instead of straight back is going to get you hitting farther, straighter, and playing the best golf of your life. I've got four sticks with me. This is going to be the path of the club. This one's going to be the path of my hands. Now I've got two alignment sticks. These are going to force me to swing straight back. Place one on the ground in line with the path of the club and one on the ground in line with the path of the hands. For me to literally swing the club straight back, then I need the club head to travel on this line into infinity and touch this stick. I also need my hands to trace the same line into infinity. Well, this is awkward. Who in the world swings like that? No one on planet Earth, that's for sure. Swinging straight back is not humanly possible. Getting into that position nearly destroyed my back. Now here's how you're supposed to swing. Swing the club in. So what is in? It's when the club moves inside of the target line like this. It's the only way you can swing a club because the golf swing is a circle on a tilted angle. So my hands naturally move inward around my body. The only way they naturally move straight back is if I'm a Ferris wheel like this. A Ferris wheel is not a golf swing. Well, I guess it could be one, but it'd be a really awkward golf swing. When I swing naturally, the club has to go in. I can't help it unless I force the club off of its natural path. I don't want to force the club off of this path. Why? Because then a whole bunch of problems happen. Problems like lifting and chopping over the top. Oh, geez, my swing feels terrible. Not keeping your arms straight. <laughs> Why? Swaying off the golf ball. My contact is so inconsistent. It just feels like stinkity stink. All of these problems are keeping you from playing the best golf of your life right now. And it's all because you're focused on swinging straight back. So how do you get rid of all these problems and start having golfing happiness the rest of your life? You start by swinging the club in. Oh, that feels so good. A lot of golfers think they aren't flexible enough to swing the club powerfully. I'm stuck. So they give up to feeling powerless forever. And that stinks. But when I teach golfers just like you to use their body in the swing, they're shocked to find that they've got 50 more yards in the tank at 75 years old. What would you do with an extra 50 yards? You don't need to spend thousands of hours trying to train your body in the golf swing. When you start swinging the club in, your body works naturally and it feels effortless too. Ah, that's refreshing. Check out the difference between swinging straight back and swinging in. As I swing the club in, it gets my hips turning which gets my shoulders turning more, and now I'm ready to destroy this golf ball. It seems that many golfers try to force the swing. They try to hinge the wrists at the right time. They try to get each swing position perfect at the right time. When you're swinging the club straight back, it seems that you have to do everything at the right time. Forget that, life's too short for at the right time. So let's make life easy for you. Swinging the club in hinges the wrist naturally, gives you the same backswing every time for incredible consistency, keeps the arms straight, swaying, pfft, don't worry about that, you're turning now. And that's just the backswing. It even works wonders in the downswing too. If you're one of the many golfers who struggles with slicing or not hitting as far as you should, then you're gonna love this. If you wanna play great golf, you need to get the club here in the downswing. It's what I call the money zone. The problem with swinging straight back is that you've got these really high arms. Then you need to drop the club, which takes timing, and it's impossible to coordinate unless you spend all your day practicing. And who's got the time for that? I'd rather be on a beach somewhere. Swinging the club in makes a downswing automatic and powerful. The club stays in the magic slot for perfect ball striking all day long. Plus you'll love all the massive distance that you're getting when your ball is soaring high and far over your buddy's drives, waving at their golf balls as it goes 100 yards past them down the middle of the fairway. That's a beautiful feeling. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, Tom, yes, this is amazing. It's going to fix all of my golf swing problems. But I can't do it. Because it's the opposite of what I've been told to do my entire golfing life, and I'm not ready to make any big swing changes. Totally understandable. But what if this whole time your key to golfing happiness was on the other side of the fence, in the land of swinging the club in? The grass is greener over there. Everybody's having more fun. Come join the party. What if it only took you two weeks to go from swinging the club straight back to swinging the club more in? Would you do it? 
Just think, in two weeks you'll be bombing it off the tee straight down the middle. Plus, you've got the support of so many great golfers who have joined the Swinging the Club in movement. Check this out. Here's Rory McIlroy. Here's Ben Hogan. Here's JT. Even the guy who lifts his arms the most on TV swings the club inward. That's three very different looking swings, all with the club traveling more in, not straight back. This move is what makes them good, and it will make you a great golfer too.